Hi everyone, how are you going? Before I begin, please definitely, if you're enjoying what you're watching, please like, subscribe, comment. I, you know, I really do appreciate it. It's fun yeah. talking to you guys. These are the colors I'm going to be working with today and they, they, they're really bright and funky. <laughs> so I don't know how they're going to work. I'm doing a lime green, a magenta, a, a purple. This is called ultraviolet and a metallic blue. And there's my white that I'm going to be, so I'm going to be pouring white around it and with the flip cup. So I'm going to start layering up these cups, the, layering up my cup, and then we'll get started. Oh, and I have varied my consistencies. So I can't remember. I think this one's slightly thicker and this, th these are the thinner ones. I have varied the consistencies a little bit. This one was very thick, so I've actually thinned it down. So, you know, we'll see. Maybe we'll get cells, maybe we won't. Who knows? But let's get pouring. So I think this is the sequence I'm going to layer my cup in. Uh, I do know that red and green can make a brown, so I'm worried about putting these two close together. But I do know that these two can also make a green. So who knows? It's just... Let's just pour. Yeah, I wanted to do, it's a flip cup, but it's a little bit different. I'm going to do my flip cup, but I'm going to put white around. I, I, I saw a picture. I didn't actually watch the video and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And it's never done one of these before. So I thought, oh, well, let's see. <laughs> So my cup is ready, my white is ready, Got my paddle thingy, I'm going to flip and I'm going to move it into the center there and now what I want to do is I'm going to just pour white all the way around and I need my spreader. I might actually even use my own fingers to spread. I really don't know what's going to happen with this. Um, actually, maybe what I'm going to do, because I don't know, I'm going to spread one side and leave the other side. Uh, uh, or I'll just, as I come to the edges, I'm going to just make this very thin. I'm a little bit worried that some of those colors might have muddied. Um, green and blue can also kind of make a deep purple. So, I don't know. I don't know. This might be a great success and it might be a fundamental floppy pop but that's how we learn and I kind of wanted to see if I could get that color to start going under the white so I'm sort of really pulling up slowly hmm so the color hasn't gone under the white. So is that because my white is too thick? I don't know. It's getting nice cells though. And the white is actually traveling underneath it. So I think I'm just going to let it do its own thing. See what happens. Just letting it walk its way to the edge. Maybe walk a little bit this way too it seems to be traveling faster that way maybe I should put another little cup underneath maybe that'll the colors are better than I thought they would be actually that might be what it is because I've only got four little cups underneath maybe putting a one under here is gonna actually tilt it back my way a bit Just letting it sit here for a bit. 
I didn't have that much left in the cup. I kept my cup quite empty, like I emptied it quite well. This is nice, yeah, this is very nice. This is very pink. Pink and purple, so not much green came through there. And we've got some white here. Hmm. So I almost wonder if I... So I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to put a thin thing of white and then I'm going to flip and see what happens. I must admit it's quite fun doing these just to see what happens. I'm going to torch. See what cells I can put up. That centerpiece is starting to look really nice because some pink and blue is mingling. Colors are nice. Colors are nice. Now it's time, I guess. So I'm going to start moving that big pink. I'm going to lose all my white, which we know. I don't generally work on round surfaces for a flip cup. I just thought I would try it with this particular pour. So I don't, that pink is very strong, but it's actually matching now quite nicely with this bit here. So I think I'm going to leave it. I like the way the white is coming up under the, on some of the sides. And I've realized I've got a lump in my huge paint lump. Yuck. Wonder if I can get that out. Ugh. That is so annoying. How did I get that in there? And now I'm just making it worse. Ugh. And, they, and what I thought was a big air bubble is actually paint. So now I've done that, I'm going to have to move some of this paint this way. Damn. That's not good. Come on, get off. Uh... One other thing I will say about boards is I find they're very slippy. Ugh, my cups are also going west. I will have some very nice skins from this. Oh, come on. Sit down, you silly thing. Hmm. Interesting. Got some lovely cells all along the side with white in them. <laughs> yeah, definitely next time I would do this, I think I'd put the white down and then I would flip on top. Still like it though. The galaxy. But like I say, one thing that will be nice out of this is the skins. Which is great because um, I run workshops locally and people have been asking me to do another one so we'll have some nice skins from this so I wanted to just bring you in to have a look at it it is getting a little bit dark in my studio so I will try and show this to you in the light but it does, the colours look really nice. You need, like that bit does look different, yeah. but the edge there has got really nice cells. So, kind of works to keep it. Uh, but, you know, look, if you look through here, the greens, those are really pretty. And that, it almost looks like the Aurora. So that really does look pretty. Come back into the center and that blue bit in the center is very nice as well. 
So I'm not quite sure what I was expecting by putting the white around the edges, but maybe more white creeping through. But it still looks nice. Uh, I think I need to try this again. But I'm not unhappy with the colours. I think they look good. Mm -hmm. 